Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerson.com. Here to bring you your weekly forecast for October 4th to the 10th. Guys, if this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon, your rising, and Venus sign for more information. And if you like a personal read with me, you can always go to my website, JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so remember this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between. So if I accidentally say, uh, you know, partner, I mean love interest. Okay, so let's jump right in. So what's going on in my Taurus's romantic love life for... October 4th to the 10th. What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for October 4th to the 10th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, put those aside. And I'm going to use the Oracle as well for some advice here for day to day. What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for October 4th to the 10th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. All right, and we're going to look at your love interest romantic love life. So what's going on my Taurus's love interest romantic love life for October 4th to the 10th? What's going on my Taurus's love interest romantic love life for October 4th to the 10th? Okay, that feels good. All right, let me throw these cards down here so that I don't lose where we are in the days. Put these aside. All right, so it looks like uh, on the 4th of October, it's going to be something surrounding family. Maybe you're going to be visiting family on this day. Maybe you're going to be talking to your love interest about family. There's something surrounding family uh, on this day. And obviously, you're having the energy of the um, Knight of Pentacles, which is obviously your energy because you're an earth sign, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. It's like someone here wants to take their time when it comes to long-term commitment. They're kind of really contemplating this when it comes to long-term commitment with the Knight of Pentacles energy. The action is very slow here. There's a lot of contemplation going on. Your love interest with the person you're dealing with has the Seven of Wands energy. So it's like they feel like they're defending their, their position pertaining to their romantic love life. Maybe they're defending it to you or to other people that are around them pertaining to their position when it comes to the romantic love life. They feel like they have the higher ground. Okay, so on the fifth here. So some kind of issues surrounding marriage, long-term commitment. Okay, so this situation on the fifth is surrounding something to do with some kind of agreement, some kind of commitment, something surrounding marriage here. And it looks like you could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy here because they have the Queen of Wands energy. Or it's more or less the energy of somebody who uh, you find very attractive here with the Queen of Wands energy. Or it's something to do with you having patience when it comes to your passions. Your love interest of the person you're dealing with on this day is feeling completely happy here with the Ten of Cups energy. And you can see there's a family in this card. They're completely emotionally fulfilled on this day. On the 6th, oh, just enjoy yourself. Look at that. It's a paradise card. So, a spirit is saying to enjoy your day. You know, it'll probably feel like a vacation on this day. Like, you have paradise going on. So, it's like your energy... It's coming out as the Justice card, and this is the Libra energy, so it's about balance. So it's it's something to do with marriage, divorce, or something surrounding, just a just balanced truth here with the Justice card. Or you could be dealing with the Libra, Libra energy. Your love is just the person you're dealing with, well, they could be doing some hanging out on this day with the Three of Cups energy. They could be hanging out with friends or something surrounding friendship, or them looking at their choices here with the Three of Cups energy. On the 7th, Spirit is saying to have hope and faith that things are going to work out here with the, the Hope card. And it lo does look like it's going to be good for you because Six of Wands is telling me that you're going to have some type of recognized victory. So whatever fighting or disputes you were dealing with, you're going to be right here with the Six of Wands energy. You're going to get that recognition here with the Six of Wands energy. Okay, so there's going to be some type of recognized victory here. We see that the letter card is here, okay? The letter card in Lenormand represents um, secrets, messages, written any written messages, any official documents. So this recognized victory is going to be surrounding that, okay? 
And it's obviously sixes in general are healing number. So something that's healing here. So it's interesting. You start out with like, you know, you have these two face cards here. And then you have this major arcana card here with the justice card, which has a lot of weight. And then it looks like whatever's going on with this just truth that you had the day before, now you're having this recognized victory, whatever this official document or this written message here. So your love interest, the person you're dealing with, feels victorious. They have some kind of uh, recognized victory here with the, um, the Ace of Swords energy. Excuse me. You have the recognized victory. They have the victory with the aha moment here with the Ace of Swords energy. So obviously... There's uh, definitely a lot of victory going on between you and your love interest here with the Ace of Swords and you with the Six of Wands energy. All right. So on the Ace, Spirit is telling you to pay attention to any symbols, to any messages that may be coming through here with the Spirit symbol here. Um, your energy is coming out as the full card. So fools represent. To me, I almost think of this card like the child card in Lenormand. It's like a fresh start, a new opportunity. You know, it's something naive. It's like um, taking a leap of faith or taking a risk here with the with the full card. And I see that there's a dog in this card. So there's something surrounding loyalty or friendship here with the dog card pertaining to your romantic love life on this day with the eighth. <laughs> well, I guess the next day your your love interest did have a recognized victory. <laughs> Six of Wands. I was speaking ahead of time. Six of Wands. So your love interest on this day has a recognized victory. They feel victorious. They're getting that recognition here with the Six of Wands energy. And again, as I say, sixes are about healing. So on the night, um, something surrounding prosperity on this day. That's really good. Okay. Um, you are having the energy of something sudden here, some, some kind of sudden upheaval. Let me know in the comments below what happens on this day on the 9th. Uh, so you're feeling like something is a shock, something is a surprise, but I see that the, the advice card or the Roman, the, uh, clarification card is uh, something surrounding prosperity. So something surrounding money, prosperity, that is for your energy, for your romantic love life seems to be a shock. What do I always say? Well, car breaking down, tower event, right? Um, winning the lottery, tower event. So both of them are sudden changes. Some are good and some are bad. I don't think that this one is going to be a bad change, though, because of the fact that we have prosperity here. Okay, so I don't feel that this sudden change is going to be a bad sudden change. It's going to be some type of shock in your romantic love life, some type of sudden change with the tower card, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be a very bad change with the prosperity card there. Okay, so your love interest, the person you're dealing with, has the Ace of Pentacles, and they see it as a long-term potential here with the Ace of Pentacles. They see something to do with uh, some kind of potential here, okay, some kind of potential opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. On the 10th, um, it looks like there's something surrounding the Spirit saying to you to be wise, to make wise decisions, okay, with the Wisdom card. It looks like whatever is being offered to you with the Four of Cups energy, you're not accepting in your romantic love life on the 10th. So, and fours are about stability, stableness, okay, structure, following the rules, right? And you have that four there, Four of Cups. So it's like maybe you're just bored here on this day. Maybe you just feel like what's being offered to you just isn't, you know, you're just like whatever. And, or it's more or less there's more than one option here with the Four of Cups energy. Okay, so your love interest of the person you're dealing with has the Knight of Pentacles energy. So it's almost like they are feeling like um, they could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, which is your energy, Taurus. And it's like they're contemplating, all right, is this really a good thing for me on the long-term basis? I really should just take my time here before I take an action. Because you know how the Knights of Pentacles are. They literally like stay still. They just stay there. Okay. So now let's do your overall. Give me a second while I move these cards aside here and shuffle the deck. All right, what's going on my Taurus days? Romantic love life for October 4th to the 10th. What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for October 4th to the 10th? What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for October 4th to the 10th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, and as you know, I like to do 
other clarifiers here, so let's get that done. Let's go to my Taurus's Romantic Love Life for October 4th to the 10th. Let's go to my Taurus's Romantic Love Life for October 4th to the 10th. Let's go to my Taurus's Romantic Love Life for October 4th to the 10th. Let's go to my Taurus's Romantic Love Life for October 4th to the 10th. Um, what's going on? My Taurus's Romantic Love Life. Right, four to ten. And one more time. That feels good. All right. So currently, some kind of reconciliation, some kind of healing here, some kind of renewal here with the Judgment card. Wow. And a major arcana to boot. And uh, the reason why is because someone was confused about their choices or their options here, or something was clouded about the choices, or they're trying to gain some kind of confidence pertaining to choices. And the fish card can represent something surrounding money here with the fish card, or something to do with uh, a flow of emotion. So someone is, is having some type of, you, you or the other person is dealing with some kind of reconciliation here with the judgment card. And this is clouding someone's judgment or it's giving them lack of clarity or confidence in their choices pertaining to their flow of emotions with the fish card or something surrounding money here. So what's the blockage? Uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Um, something to do with a younger earth sign person or something to do with a message of some kind of long-term commitment. And, and also we could be talking about money here because I do see the fish card here is the current. So maybe someone doesn't feel that there's a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment here. Um, when they gain some kind of message and they're trying to gain some kind of knowledge here with the book card, or they, maybe they feel like something's yet to be revealed here in the situation. So someone doesn't feel like this is a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment and they feel like they want to gain some kind of knowledge here. The knowledge being the, um, the blockage or something to do with someone who feels like something's yet to be revealed about the situation. So obviously there's confusion about choices and options here. Okay, so at the foundation of the matter, someone wants to fulfill their wishes with the Nine of Cups energy pertaining to their wishes and their hopes with the Star card pertaining to a person. Okay, that's... so what's happened in the past here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone was contemplating, should I give my pentacle? Should I not give my pentacle? You know, there's some kind of nurturing energy going on here with the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe there was also advice here. And remember, Queens are about patience. And then we got the Queen of Cups here. Same thing. Contemplation, patience going on pertaining to the romantic love life. Possibly, maybe there was also something to do with another Earth sign or something to do with a water sign here. And something to do with communication because the birds represent something to do with communication. So there may have been somebody that went and got some advice here pertaining to the romantic love life. Um, they may have communicated with some other people about it. Maybe they went to somebody that they felt was a very nurturing kind of energy here. Maybe a motherly kind of figure or someone that they just felt like that they could talk to about their romantic love life. Or there was some kind of issues surrounding communication here with the birds card. So what's going on in the head of the matter here? Queen of Swords, someone's telling like it is. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And there's something surrounding a twin flame soulmate connection or choice towards love. And someone wants some kind of change or improvement here in this situation. Okay, let's see what's going on in the immediate outcome. Seven of Cups. So again, we're dealing with, and that's kind of what's going on in the current moment. Now going into the immediate future, Seven of Cups, someone's still confused about their choices. And the reason why is because they want to move towards their passion, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. They want to take an action towards their passion or there's, there's commi commitment issues here. Someone's not sure if they want to commit because of a wish and a hope of the star card or hopeful thinking or wishful thinking or, you know, there, there's a wish and a hope that things are going to work out or there's a wish and a hope that there's something else here or someone just doesn't want to commit yet. Someone's not ready to commit yet. Okay, so what's going on in the subconscious? Uh, temperance, something to do with someone who wants an equal give and take, uh, who's being patient, and they want to make a wise choice when it comes to love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, pertaining to house and family with the house card. So what's the influence here? Four of Pentacles, well, someone could be holding on to something emotionally here, okay, Four of Pentacles, or someone's holding on to their situation for a short success, and we have the bouquet here. So that represents surprises, it represents appreciation, that represents a visitor, so, and also beauty. So something to do with that, someone's holding on to something pertaining to that. 
They want to fulfill their wishes, Nine of Cups energy. And the snake card can be because maybe there's something else involved here. There's some kind of challenge in that situation. Or there's something to do with bondage, addiction, depression, or procrastination pertaining to somebody doing that. So what is going to be the uh, hopes and fears here? Someone is fearing or maybe they're hoping that they can end something to start something new pertaining to an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And the Knight of Wands, again, is someone who wants, it's like, it's like the Knight, of, excuse me, the Rider is like the Knight of Wands energy in the Tarot. It's like someone who doesn't want to commit or wants to move on to something new. It also can represent messages. It can represent um, a visitor. So someone's uh, wanting some kind of ending pertaining to or hoping and fearing something to do with an ending pertaining to a fire sign person. Maybe they want to just move towards their passion here, or maybe they're afraid that there's not going to be a commitment here, or there's going to be commitment issues, which I still see as in the, in the immediate future here. So let's see what the uh, possible outcome is. Three of Cups energy. Okay. Celebration, hanging out. So it looks like some celebration hanging out going on. Something pertaining to friends here with Three of Cups energy, or more than one choice in the outcome. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, something to do with a message of a long-term commitment or some kind of potential here for some kind of long-term commitment with someone. And the ship card represents somebody who could be foreign from someone else. Maybe there's some kind of long-distance relationship going on here with the ship card. Or ships can also be in Lenormand, something to do with travel, okay? Like a, a car travel or, you know, some kind of long-distance situation going on here. So it looks like you have potentially have more than one option here um, because the Page of Pentacles is there. Because Why is it there? Something to do with a message of long-term commitment or potential for some kind of long-term commitment. And the ship shows me that there's some type of movement in your romantic love life or this there's, there's a distance here or there's a long-distance relationship here possibly or someone who's foreign from someone else. So let me get some advice for you guys. Can I have some advice for my Taurus's romantic love life, please? Can I have some advice for my Taurus's romantic love life, please, for October 4th to the 10th? Hmm, Spirit's saying something to do with it's safe for you to love. You can open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it looks like going into the, the outcome here, you're going to be celebrating. There's going to be something to celebrate about. There's something to do with travel here with the ship card and the outcome and some kind of potential for some kind of long-term commitment or a message surrounding a long-term commitment here. Now, this can be involving something to do with a friend here with the Three of Cups energy or something to do with you maybe having more than one choice that you could move on here with the situation, okay? And Spirit is saying that it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive here. I just want to put some clarity on this boat card here. All right, why is the ship card here? 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 See, there's some kind of opportunity here. Ace of Wands, because someone is single and available or some kind of issue surrounding someone being single and available and someone's trying to compromise or they're indecisive about things. Okay, so obviously that's what's going on. There's more than one option. Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? Justice is marriage, it's uh, divorce, it's something to do with a just balanced decision that needs to happen here because three of pentacles, there's more than one option or choice here and the world card represents something to do with the completion of a cycle. Now it's like, like the death card, it is going from one cycle to another cycle, going to like hanging out, you know, dating to that next level, you know, of commitment here. So something needs to happen here. There needs to be a choice that needs to be made here. And Spirit is saying that it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, all right, my Tauruses, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. I will be releasing the monthly soon, so stay tuned for that. It should be like the next day or two. And, um... What does this person secretly want you to know for November is coming up? Wow, we're going fast, are we? Uh, extra turns for November is coming up, and I have a couple of other surprises that I'm going to be releasing, a couple of bonuses I'm going to be releasing this month, so watch out for that. They all can be found in the playlist. I love you guys so much. Have a great week.